thank you. If you can all take your seat, we're about to get started with the session. Yay. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for the session, Introducing Bubbles Native Mobile App Editor. <laughs> Highly anticipated. Without further ado, please help me in welcoming our Senior Product Marketing Manager, Becky Mack, and Lead Product Manager, Nicholas Carroll. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, I'm Nick, the mobile team product manager, and I'm also joined by Becky, our product marketing manager. And together, we are so excited to introduce the new mobile app builder on Bubble. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's start off with some icebreakers. So uh, who here owns a mobile device? Show of hands. Show of hands. No, this only works if everyone does it. OK, all right. And uh, how many of you use at least one app daily? All right, let's pretend everyone raised their hands. And now, how many of you have built a native mobile application that's in either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store? See, that gap right there is the problem that we set out to solve. So 85% of the world's population uses mobile phones, but only 0.1% are mobile developers themselves. In short, native mobile apps are critical to our daily lives and very important to most software businesses out there. But not enough people know how to build them. At Bubble, our mission is to empower anyone to create software. And today, we already support the creation of complex web applications without writing a single line of code. We've seen countless businesses being built, raising venture capital, and even sold. But what about mobile? So we've seen users today have some success using wrapped apps and getting them into the App Store. But we also know these wrapped apps have some big limitations. And that's why if we were going to invest in mobile capabilities, it had to be native. And that's why the core product principle behind our new native mobile apps editor is to make it easy for users to build and publish mobile apps that look and feel mobile. Now, mobile is not just a new product offering. It is an obvious evolution of our existing platform, one that brings us a big step closer to achieving our mission of allowing anyone, regardless of background, to create software. Now, it's worth calling out that Bubble mobile apps live in the same projects as web apps. And that means we can fully leverage our robust language and data capabilities. And that's really why we think the new native mobile apps builder is something unique in the marketplace, because it's all powered by Bubble. So there we go. To take a step back, we began working on mobile uh, last fall when we announced at BubbleCon. We started with a small team to build out a proof of concept, and then we grew this team to set the foundation and productionize the MVP. In May of this year, we released the new native mobile apps builder to a small group of early testers to put this MVP through its paces. And during this time, a handful of users were actually able to build real functioning mobile apps on Bubble. Uh, and I want to thank all those early testers, some of which are sitting in the audience here today. So please give yourselves a pat on the back, a round of applause. And that brings us to today, another major milestone. As Josh mentioned, we are officially launching mobile to our waitlist users. Now, we're, we're super excited for this. I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for a long time <laughs> to get access. And so we'll start pulling users off the waitlist on a rolling basis. And in addition, we're really excited to extend early access to our silver and bronze agencies, as well as those of you in the audience today. And as you're selected to onboard, you'll receive a welcome email with more details about what to expect and how to get started. So in the rest of the session, we're going to talk more about the capabilities of the product and what to expect going forward. But uh, I want to bring Becky onto the stage, who's going to share an inside look at some of the mobile apps being built right now. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It is so great to be here with you all today. 
I've had the privilege of working with our early testers, and I've been so inspired by their innovative solutions they have for really important problems. Today, I'm excited to share a glimpse of what they've been working on. We'll start with two deep dives, and then we'll also showcase a few other mobile apps that are already in development. First up, we have Church Space. Founders Emmanuel Brown and Day Edwards are both children of pastors, so they know firsthand the financial stress of running a church. But for those who are less familiar, there are nearly a trillion dollars tied up in church real estate, while the average church is actually empty 80% of the week. So at the same time, communities surrounding them don't have access to affordable spaces and need places to rent. So to bridge that gap, Emmanuel and Day have partnered with RapidDev, a bubble gold agency, uh, uh, to build church space, a platform connecting churches with anyone who needs affordable space for events and gatherings. They're all here today, so I'd actually like to ask them to stand up so we can give them a quick round of applause. Thank you. Since developing their web app, ChurchSpace has grown rapidly. They already have over 11,000 users, and the Washington Post even calls them the Airbnb for churches. And they're just getting started. Now they're launching a mobile native app built with Bubble. This app will empower hosts to publish spaces, review bookings, manage space availability, all from their phones. Users will have the ability to book and rent spaces, buy amenities and add-ons, and even save their favorites for future events. By using Bubble, they've been able to save 3x the time and 5x the cost compared to traditional code. And as Emmanuel shared here, the beauty of no code is that you can strike this healthy balance between both speed and capital efficiently. efficiency. We're excited to be on this journey with ChurchSpace and RapidDev as they expand quickly and efficiently. And soon, their mobile app will be available across the US for any church and for any user. And if you're interested in learning more, becoming a host, or becoming a renter, you can actually sign up for their mobile app waitlist at bookchurchspace.com slash explore underscore mobile. So definitely take a quick picture of that QR code so you can get on that waitlist. Over in Canada, the team at Vision Us also identified another important problem to solve. Nonprofit organizations have an aging volunteer base, so they wanted to find a way to actually help younger community members engage. Inspired by penguins and actually how they bring pebbles to build their nests together, the team at Vision Us saw a beautiful metaphor for building a more connected community. Together with We Get Design, a bubble gold agency, they're building Pebbles, a mobile app that's transforming what community engagement can look like in our mobile first world. We get design is tuning in virtually, but Philip is actually here today, so I'd also like to ask him to stand up so we can also give him a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks, Philip. While still in development, Pebbles already has partnerships with government organizations, over 40 local nonprofits, and these organizations can then design micro challenges that can be completed within minutes. When they're completed, the app will reward users with instant badges and social recognition, and other users can then see their achievements on their newsfeed. And of course, they can like, comment, share, com um, and build that sense of community and motivation. And to keep track of all their progress, organizations can access a dashboard with analytics about the engagement, volunteer hours, and even the funds raised. Vision Us has been able to build this mobile app while saving 7x the time compared to traditional development. And as Omar, the founder of Wika Design, shared, integrating mobile native functionality directly into Bubble is a game changer. What once required immense time, effort, and expense can now be achieved within a unified platform. But before Nick walks you all through how we've added that mobile functionality into the Bubble editor, I'm just going to walk you through a few more examples of what early testers are building so you can also get a sense of the diverse use cases and how you really can build anything with Bubble. So besides marketplaces and social platforms, we're also seeing other ways that our testers are helping build other types of connections, including the relationship with yourself, your friends and family, and of course, across an organization. So on the left here, we actually have Change Your State. 
So Goodspeed Studio, another gold agency, teamed up with Move, a recovery studio based in the UK. They're building Change Your State, which is an app on track to become the Strava for heat and ice therapy. It can track your heat exposure from saunas, your ice exposure from cold plunges, and also offer guided immersions, a progress calendar, and also gamification elements to keep users engaged. Earlier this year, they actually shipped a wrapped web app, and now they're rebuilding it as a native mobile app. They're already seeing significant results with over 500 regular users, a new revenue stream, and also a successful funding round. Loren, one of our bubble ambassadors, is building an app that streamlines travel planning. The name is in French, so I won't subject you all to my poor pronunciation, but it means travel diary in English. This app streamlines the entire travel process from helping users manage their documents, itineraries, accommodation details, all from one place. And it's designed to be your companion at every stage, from preparing before your trip, to getting information while you're on the go, and of course, sharing the information and your, your trip with your family and friends. Last but not least, on the right we have Minimum Studio, another gold agency who teamed up with Keep Wondering Out Loud, or Keep Wool, a company that improves team effectiveness. They're creating an app called Conferencing Out Loud, which actually helps employees ask their leadership team questions in a much more structured way across the organization. Conferencing Out Loud is helping Keep Wool reach brand new customers since it's a much easier way of actually trying out their team effectiveness approach without committing to the full platform immediately. And it's working. It's been really exciting to actually hear that some users of conferencing out loud are actually expressing interest in KeepWool's full suite of their products. So now that you've seen just a few examples of what users are already building, I'm really excited to pass it back to Nick to walk you through how you can also start bringing your ideas to life too. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you, Becky. Um, I have to say it was really special to work with these teams over the past few months to get these apps to life and see that vision come true. Uh, so first, I want to highlight the full life cycle of mobile app development that the editor now offers. So we have a suite of native mobile components to effortlessly design apps that look and feel native. And as you all know, Bubble's power does not just stop at design. You can add powerful functionality with existing logic and data capabilities, including new mobile-specific workflows. Then you can preview your app in a new web preview experience, or on BubbleGo, an app that allows you to test your app right on your device. And last but not least, you can submit your build to the Google and App Stores right from the Bubble Editor. So let's take a look at a real app so you can see how it all works. If you're familiar with our Getting Started series on YouTube with Gregory John, who's somewhere over here, uh, then you might be familiar with Workplace, an app that helps you land your next job opportunity. So we start by building in the same editor we all know and love. And instead of pages, views are the fundamental building block. A view can contain layers, text, UI, uh, sorry, images, and other UI components. And once we create a mobile view, we'll get access to mobile-specific functionality like a top app bar, safe area controls, and tools to navigate between different pages. For example, Bubble makes it effortless to build a tab bar. You don't need to set up any navigation workflows to go between tabs. It all just works. In our example, the tabs are home, profile, notifications, and favorites. And now that we've added these components to our view, we can start designing the UI. And there are four types of views that control the base behavior depending on your use case. So we have a non-scrollable screen, which is great for a loading state. We have a scrollable view, which is great for a profile. We have a vertical list, which is great for a notification feed, and then a section list that we're using for our favorites. And we can continue to use all of Bubble's powerful logic and data capabilities. In this case, because we already have a web version of this app, we can share data and backend logic between the two apps, significantly speeding up our build. But now, we can also add mobile-specific gestures like taps, swipe actions, and long presses to trigger workflows. And in addition to tab navigation, Bubble makes it easy to implement other common nav navigation patterns like sliding over to a new view to show more detail or opening a full screen modal to focus the user's attention. Alternatively, we can use uh, bottom sheets. This is a component that slides up from the bottom of the screen 
to show more contextual content. And the best part is the transitions, the swiping behavior, and navigation logic all come out of the box. We've also introduced a number of mobile components and functionality to help you build great user experiences. For example, we're using our new daytime picker, checkbox element, and upcoming select element to collect profile information from our user and the new camera workflows to upload a profile photo. We can use our push notification integration to notify users of upcoming job interviews with one single workflow. And for those times where we need a reference UI from our web app, we can use the web view element to render that page in our app or allow users to log in with existing flows. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that Bubble mobile apps have offline support out of the box. So, yeah. This means our on-the-go job seekers can still interact with Workplace even when they lose cell coverage. And then, as we develop, we can preview our creation on the web to simulate the app across different devices or interact with it on an actual device using Bubble Go. And by the way, this app was also built on Bubble and tested on Bubble Go. <laughs> um, so because Bubble mobile apps are built on React Native, it means they're instantly compatible with Apple and Android out of the box. And for those who are not familiar, React Native is a mobile development framework that's used by some of the most popular apps in the world, like Amazon, Facebook, and Shopify. So when you're ready for prime time, you can seamlessly publish your app to both the Apple and Google developer consoles right from the editor without any extra work. Or you can send over-the-air updates directly to these apps um, and bypass the build process entirely. But we're not stopping here. As we look forward, there are a few key areas that we are most excited about. The first is providing near, near infinite extensibility with our new React Native plugin editor. The second is an enhanced debugging experience that incorporates new tooling that will allow you to debug your apps in run mode. And third, Based off of all the amazing feedback we've been getting, we plan to continue to add new support for native functionality like face ID, location services, and light and dark theming. Before we wrap up, though, I'd like to invite to the stage the members of our brilliant team that made all of this happen in just one year. Come on up. So a big thank you to our software engineers, Cal, Spencer, Kathleen, Monsi, Molly, and uh, let's not forget our intern, Harry, our engineering manager, David, our user researcher, Chelsea, our product designer, Ramsey, and of course, our marketing team, Jeremy and Becky. But seriously, as you're walking around the conference, if you see any of them, please buy them a drink or a coffee, because they have very much earned it. Uh, again, I'm super impressed with, with everything they've done. And um, uh, to learn more, we have a mobile booth downstairs where you'll be able to interact with these lovely folks directly and get your hands on the actual product. So please stop by uh, either today or tomorrow. And with that, um, thank you all so much for being here. We are so excited to see what you all build with our new native mobile apps editor. <laughs>